Alrighty, so 7.30, um, feeling a little bit better today. I uh, feel actually, I mean, 100% no, but better than yesterday, yes. So, uh, got the power list set up and just gonna get stuff done. Um, the big one for me is like social media, like trying to fix things, if you will, like reorganize, restructure, and in the meantime, while that's happening, I haven't done anything and it's not helping the company's brand and although like it may not be perfect it's better than doing nothing so and um you know past three or four weekends really um usually it's when i kind of lay out stuff for the week um, on the weekend because during the week it's impossible i'm not always near a computer i might be at meetings blah 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 um and because i haven't done it on the weekends i just haven't done it so nothing gets and it's just it's not good um <clears throat> excuse me for the brand and things of that nature so with that being said we're gonna do that and uh, just get the day started and get the ball rolling here so i got a skype call here in about 20 minutes for a podcast interview um and unfortunately, for some reason, I'm having issues logging onto Skype on the desktop, which sucks a lot, really. Um, so we're gonna try and get on the laptop and make it work, but um, maybe should have been more prepared. I was not expecting this. I haven't had issues signing on in the past, but uh, it can just never go easy or smoothly. So I don't know. We'll find out. Checking email real quick to make sure he hasn't canceled or anything but super frustrating that that's not working to say the least all right well the internet went down and now i can't get into my account so it's 10 o'clock and i had to cancel that because the person was pressed for time <sighs> ridiculously frustrating um so I'm gonna try and figure this out and, uh, damn it. Alrighty, well, I got that account back on. I guess for some reason I got locked out of it. I don't know what happened there, but, um, that, I had to cancel the podcast, so that was frustrating, but I guess that's what I get for waiting too close to the last minute for it to, you know, come on. But, uh, anyway, is what it is, and just part of the learning, I guess, you know. Things don't go as as you as you wish they would. Okay. Um. So. One. All right. So. I'm. I'll send you a, a link in an email because it'll give some context to see like a video. You know. A little bit of a rough start to the morning, but feeling a lot better. Not as sick by now. So. Um. Bad habits have been I've I have been picking up some bad habits like just messing with my phone, leaving it on, uh, not being as productive. So just phone airplane mode and just time to get stuff done. I'm really gonna crank it up this afternoon. Just need to have a good productive afternoon and let's get it started. Right, let's see if anyone else needs that. You know, in terms of marketing it or just um. Life is so precious. I'm living so reckless. I hope I stay safe. Ran the company like it was still the 1900s, and then somehow ownership changed. Or I go to the bank, or I go out with all of my team. Yeah, I know I'll be late. So, just a good afternoon. Things have really kind of picked up. I'm feeling a lot better physically, so that's helped a lot. Um, got a call here with a lawyer in 10 minutes to go over an NDA for tomorrow. Just got off the phone. Excuse me. Oh, with a. Uh, guy trying to help me with social media and branding things of that nature and um you know got a cad drawing done just trying to balance cash flow which is a pain a little bit stressful and um just trying to just trying to get back in the habit um just it's kind of just been an off couple weeks if you will so uh, yeah we'll see just a lot of new things happening and just kind of try and take the, 
the punches, so to speak, one at a time and figuring out how to adjust and, and roll with it. But it's all you can do. It's all you can do. Not too bad, Jim. It's James. I, I was calling you about the NDA. Sorry about that. At the gym, just gonna walk on Sherma for a little bit. Need to get out of the out of the room, quote unquote, office and just de-stress. Been a been a busy one, and eventful. Forgot to uh, bring the camera with me this evening, but went to Toastmasters just working on that public speaking skills and uh, that's a wrap for today hopefully another good night of sleep and uh, we'll be over this post Spartan race crap if that's what it's from or if it's just a coincidence but um, just another brick another brick <laughs>so it's like eight o'clock and um i didn't film the workout this morning it was just a morning that was really needed it was very relaxing uh, very peaceful in the, in the flow state in the zone and that's kind of something i needed uh past i don't know two weeks or so a little bit overwhelmed with the amount of work building a team um trying to learn how to delegate and dealing with marketing social media type stuff so i have two kind of competing brands so to speak so there's my personal page which is primarily fitness focused if you will you know coaching not coaching people telling them um, the different ways to do things things of that nature and then there's the engineering side which is ran through the company page um, but in talking with some people that are more experts in social media getting some coaching mentorship if you will uh, discussed bringing the two together and not ditching the company page, but making myself known more as an engineer versus just the company. And on the 10,000 foot view, <clears throat> those are really two competing views. You know, the stereotypical engineers, you know, in his office, you know, the quote unquote maybe dad bod type, um, doesn't like to work out, especially not the competitive style that I do. And uh, it's a turnoff, if you will. And then there's the. The fitness person, which is like sitting at a computer that's stupid, things of that nature. So it's a really competing uh, type brand. I'm trying to bring the two together and manage content for both the blog and the podcast and all the different ideas I have for the podcast, which wasn't the main intention. And now I don't, I'm kind of, I guess, tossed and turning between how to, how to take it from here. And in the meantime, stuff has stalled, which frustrates me. Um, but I realize it's just going to take patience and... There might be some setback. People might stop listening to the podcast. People might stop following. And it just happens. It's just part of the journey. It was two steps forward. Uh, but i got to take a step back and, and evaluate things. And this morning, although I'm not like in a go, 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 like let's get to work, uh, it was needed to just kind of put some ideas on. I got some really good thoughts on how to merge the two. And I'm sure you'll be seeing those later. I'm not sure when. Hopefully by the end of June. That's being really generous. I would like it to be the, the next week. And um, that's it's definitely something that's hard. I'm the stereotypical type A, um, drive, 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 and think some things don't happen that way. And learning that patience is hard. it's hard for me. I mean, it's it's a wiring thing. I I don't understand. It's just it just is a wiring thing. So it was nice to kind of just take some time and really have that chance to reflect because it's just something that's been going on. And then. Um, getting sick and feeling like crap, which is, this is the first morning I don't feel like crap, uh, help, probably helps a lot, in all honesty. Uh, when when things are, when you're not feeling well or things aren't going your way, everything seems a lot worse than what it really is. And you have to look in that, that moment and just kind of remind yourself, and I do it constantly, uh, that this too shall pass or, or things of that nature. And every storm runs out of rain, whatever cliche saying you want. But 
in that moment it sometimes is hard to hard to realize that when um, things aren't the most optimal it can be frustrating at times but let's make the power list and uh, let's get started um, first thing up is something I'm gonna call compounding which is like really small menial tasks like reading 10 pages a day which is something that I've wanted to do and I've done and stopped and done and stopped but if I just can do 10 pages it's gonna add up over time because 70 pa 10 pages a day 70 pages a week I don't know what the hell the, the math is when it goes out it's like 1400 pages a m uh, no that's wrong 280 pages a month um, if there's four weeks a month and you can just see it's compounding and even though that 10 pages seems like nothing which is probably why I don't do it doing it every day compounds versus doing it for like a week and then stopping because then it's not compounding so something I really need to beat on myself so um, no more talking uh, let's get the day started got a lot of meetings and phone calls l lunch meeting this afternoon and um, busy day so peace time patience time it's over time to get to work See, I'm so optimistic, boy, I'm that college daydreamer Just trying to make enough to see myself drive in a Beamer And see some spitting verses that are hotter than a fever All my music tends to be... Oh, I forgot to mention, because I threw the camera in the bag, because it's freaking raining. On our way to Cleveland, a uh, meeting, then a phone call, and then a phone call, and then another meeting, and I got a phone call right now, so, uh, here we go. Being the best doesn't define success. Success is working hard and playing less, so I'm never getting rest. All right, 12, 11.50, so we arrived on time. Quick note, might have found a technical co-founder, possibly um, introduction on the way. So the first phone call went good. Here for a lunch meeting in downtown Cleveland. And uh, this is why you leave early, because the GPS took me to the wrong location the first time. And it sent me down a very narrow back alley with the truck, which made it very interesting to turn around. Thankfully, no one was there to watch. So, uh, let's go to this lunch meeting, and we'll catch you guys after. All right, so we are... That meeting, or lunch meeting, went really well. Um, the guy's doing some really cool stuff. Gave him a couple ideas on way to uh, grow what he's doing. Uh, my opinion, it was an architect uh, doing stuff like biomaterials and things of that nature. A lot of, like, green, friendly, sustainable uh, infrastructure. Sorry for the bouncing camera, I'm driving. Um, things are, so that, anyway, because that meeting went so long, it backed me up really close to the meeting I have right now that I'm going to in 20 minutes. Um, but, so what that guy's doing is uh, some of the biogram materials, uh, and uh, he says, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I guess looking for opportunities as a way to market it. Um, he might be, I think what he told me is, the way I saw it was he was looking too high level, like he was going for something that wasn't there yet but would be in the future gave him they just kind of encouraged him to go for the low hanging fruit and uh, we'll see what happens with that but that was good i had to kind of leave early to go to this meeting and i'm on the run so yeah it's raining so can't really take the camera out too much when it's raining like this but i'm gonna go to the next meeting diamonds will only become diamonds after undergoing another solid meeting Damn, there's so much opportunity in this world. I am beyond excited. So, uh, yeah, I can't obviously disclose everything because I just, you know, legal, contractual things. Part of the hard part of doing document the journey, but I just gotta say, the power of just going to things and networking and talking to people and emailing and emailing and reading and learning you never know where that shit's gonna lead. Just do the work, baby. That's all it is. So much opportunity in this world. Unbelievable. Can't. It's destiny.
Alright, so <clears throat> time to get the day started. Um, past couple days just haven't felt like train filming the training stuff. I'm um, just kind of enjoying the time in the gym. And um, um, had to make a tough call this morning. So <sighs> episodes 50, 51, 52, and 53 were made by uh, someone I hired to help me with video editing because it was getting um, to take time away that I needed to spend on other things. Uh, but unfortunately, since getting the lawyer involved um, with NDAs and the app uh, location and companies getting involved and money, I, it started to eat into my college budget. So uh, paying lawyer fees are very expensive, uh, like $200 an hour. Um, and that, I mean, that's just, just, I mean, it's just costing me a lot of money. But it's, I mean, I have to do it because... If I don't get them involved, then nothing gets happens, nothing gets created, nothing gets done, and then there's nothing to document. There's no company, um, so I've had to let him go. Um, this morning I sent him an email, so I'll pay him for what he's done. But uh, I feel bad, but it's just part of the journey. Uh, things happen, and you got to make the adjustments, and you got to do, and you can't ponder and think and shit. You just got to do. I'm gonna lay down for like 10 minutes and just catch a quick little nap. Oh man, I just didn't uh, sleep well enough last night, so I could just get a tad bit um, rejuvenate and get back at it. Podcast interview number one, starting at a little bit early, it's supposed to start at 10, but doing it at 9.40. I got the ethic that works, no one can get it like me. I be in a booth. Get Alright, there, there we go. No, not a problem. Under, un, definitely understand. Really solid podcast interview. Had some hiccups. About to check the audio and see if this one came out better, but I found a good audio engineer <clears throat> that turns around pretty quick if I need help with some special editing. Um, depending on how this turns out, though, I might have to invest in some better headsets. Part of the learning process, though. I got one more interview today. And then we'll see how this one turns out, and I probably will invest in some better gear for the next one and the future. I got the ethic that works. No, I can get it like me. Yeah. Podcast interview number two, phone call, and then haircut. Um, back to back, back. So twelve o'clock, time to get to work. Can you hear me? All right. Not too bad. How are you, Daniel? Sorry about that little hiccup right there. Not sure what happened. So, first, thank you very much for being willing to do this. I really, really appreciate it. Back in the day was a wannabe rapper Now I'm the one that these artists chase after I pass them off, reaching up levels way more than the web Yeah, you heard what I said Recorded a podcast number two And I got a phone call in like two minutes So we'll make this quick It's just... What was the one I'm looking for? I drew in a blank. I had something I wanted to say and I forget. Sorry. I'll come back to me. Don't worry. I am just tired of y'all looking over the kid. Yeah. Alright, sorry I've been doing a poor job keeping up today. Uh, phone call went well. Things are going well. Not gonna win the day. I'm gonna lose. Not gonna get everything done I wanted to. Um, four o'clock. Going to an Indians game with my two sisters and cousin and aunt this evening so family time um, trying to hack at that that's important uh, that is my quote unquote girlfriend or relationship and yeah so gonna be cutting it out here soon heading out heading out to the the tribe game and maybe we'll see LeBron but catch you later I put it work y'all wanna dream I got the ethic that works no one can get it like me I be in a booth, losing some sleep. I got the ethic that works, no I can get it like me. Yeah. I put in work, y'all wanna dream. I got the ethic that works, no I can get it like me. I be in a booth, losing some sleep. I got the ethic that works, no I can get it like me.